Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. We have Manot Bex. We have Brent in the house. Hi, Brent. It was very painful, actually. I <laughs> have you know. Have you ever had a dog's pram rammed over your foot <laughs> in flip flops? Hello, everybody. Right, if I'm looking down in this way, it's because I'm looking at your comments. I now have my laptop live so I can highlight comments. That's like, a bit over here. like this. <laughs> and it won't affect if it overheats or goes. We're still live. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk about our guest this week. Oh, well, that's the first. Because what will happen? Because you, Gobby, is just going to go. <laughs> I will. I will, uh, I will give it away. So you will live 100%. guest at seven p.m. Seven ish. p.m. Ish. ish ish ish. We will be live for no more than two hours. It will more than likely be an hour and a half to two hours. We have dinner arriving at eight thirty before I have to go to work. Can I just say? Oh, Got it on again. Professional, babe. Professional. Hang on. I actually. Hmm. I just want to say, I've still got one. Do you need one? Would you have one with your logo or my logo? Well, I think, I think, hang on, let's put it to, like, as Phoebe says, the fans. Should we put it to the fans? Put it to the fans. Should I or do I deserve a t-shirt? And if so, do I have my own merch? <gasps> or do I have that merch? Hilarious. Right. Oh, and also... Go ahead, can we? Look at this. No more Ryland. Or Ryland. 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 Uh, let's say hello to everyone. We had Nigel in the room before we even went live. About 20 minutes before. Oh, he Nigel, you're our number beaver. one fan. Bigger beaver. I love it. We have Stephen in the house from Prime Photography. His yeah. photos recently have been insane. Yeah. They have been awesome. We have Lizzie in the house. I might have to defriend him because, you know, show too, it up. Too good for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one room for one decent photographer. Yeah. We have, uh, <laughs> we have Lizzie. Almost dinner time, great time, dinner and show. Thanks, Lizzie. Thanks for joining us. Lizzie, my boo boo, is, to be honest, I'm playing it down. I'm playing it cool right now because it is throbbing like a. But you're trying not to be trying it. <laughs> As um, Brent has said, man up. So <laughs> if everyone could say hi to Brent for me, Brent is my. Uh, boxing guru. He's my. He's been a trainer of mine. We've helped each other out. Uh, Brent has taught me an awful lot in boxing, and he's a great guy. Also, Brent has also just started his own business a little while ago. He became self-employed, but he's got a new unit, a new gym. He is a G unit. He is, and it is <laughs> wicked. His gym is insanely professional. And I cannot wait to go there. Do you know what, Brent? Do you know what Tony's first thing was when he came home? I said, oh, how is Brent? He's good, yeah. All this. And he said, do you know what? Do you know what he's got? I thought he was going to say something amazing. Like, oh, he's got this new bag or he's got this new equipment. He has fans on his ceiling. <laughs> Not on the I ceiling. Like, on the wall. It's like, oh. We have, uh, we have Paul in the house. Hi, Paul. Thanks for joining. We have Killer. Hi, Corey. Thanks for joining us, mate. We have... Who else do we have? Who else do we have? New Den Lions. We have Ross in the house. Ross won the giveaway. So congratulations, Ross. We're winning 50 large ones. <gasps> 50 smackaroonies. We have Russell in the house. Hello, Russell. Got loads of people. Both, both logos combined, said Corey. Ooh. We have Robert in the house from the Fragrance Journey. I could have one on one boot. I could have one on each boot. One on each tip? Yeah. Well, I need one a little bit lower to go on the tip. Titty I've got, logos. I've got tips at the moment, so I have to get that <laughs> Actually, so I get back boxing. I've got not, tips. <laughs> not being funny, if I had one each tip and I sat here, I'd have to, I'd have to hook myself up because they'd just be like, <laughs> straight down. <laughs> Robert is a cool, is a cool guy. I think I've mentioned him before. Robert's a cool guy. Yeah, he's really cool. He's in America. He runs his own channel. Does he follow me? If you don't follow me, he's not cool. Robert, you need to go on to Instagram and follow for addicted snaps. Sorry, you won't hear the last of it. <laughs> I am going to hopefully do uh, go on Robert's channel soon. 
Oh, yeah. Fingers crossed. He has mentioned it, and I'd love to go on there. Oh. I'd like to get some UK reviewers on there. We oh, have there Brian we in the house. Hi, Brian. We have Scott. Who else do we have here? We have Brandon. Hazard. Thanks for joining us. Harry, we've got Josh. Richard. No. John, yeah, thank you, everybody. Yes, we've got Maya. Maya. We have Eve. Some girlies. Right, let's get on. I've just had a message. My phone's just gone. I don't know if you can hear that. Hopefully not. Just watching you monks while someone's eating dinner. <laughs> oh, I think we have a lurker as well. We have a lurker? We, I think we have Dave from work. You remember Dave? But he's lurking. He's a lurker. Right, lurky. <laughs> right, I'll take that <laughs> off. Right, we have... Does anyone... Should we talk about a few things that we got in this week? Or do you want to do our beefs and our boners? Can your boner wait? Or... No, he's a bit impatient. Oh, OK, we'll talk about boners well, then. Boners need, needs releasing. Okay. All right. Do you want to start with beef or do you want to start with your boner? I want to get my boner out. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's going to get his boner out, everybody. You so, Becca's boner out. of the week. I think we've given up with the exile phone now. Have we? Yeah. I'm done on it. Oh, it's going to get it out. Ready? Tony's the UK butter bean because of Mr. Kipling's. Butter bean? Mr. Kip butter bean is like a heavyweight boxer who knocks everyone out. But he's really big and fat. He's not a boxer. <gasps> he's calling you fat. Oh no, he's calling you fat. He's fat shaming me. Fat shaming. <laughs> <gasps> who said that, Paul? You bitch. Right, fat so shamer. on to this week's feature, Becca's Boners. Oh. oh. Hold on. It's very quiet. Let's, let's start this again. <laughs> this week's special feature, Becca's Boners. Wicked. Yeah. Ah, Almost as musical as Corey's channel, it's Killer Frags. Corey's got nothing on it, has it? No. No. Of course not. No. no. Corey's rubbish. You can say it. Otherwise, then you've got to tell me off. <laughs> so, any, no, so, do you want to start with your bone or do you want me to start with No, my you bone? start with your bone. Okay, my bone of the week is. Drum roll. No, I won't do that because you'll tell me off again because it'll be like earthquake. 800 followers in two months. Two, two, two months. 800 followers in two months. I'm I mean, what can well. I say? You're doing well. I just post a load of rubbish and people just like like it and follow me. I love it. Thank good, you. You have got a good page, to be fair. I'll it's all it, right. I'll give it up. It's all right. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. So my bone of the week is I've got 800 followers in two months. So hopefully in another two months. Yeah, that's good going. Yeah. It took me from the end of July around to about December to get. No, it was, if you remember, I, it was around to January to get a thousand followers. You wow. seem smashing me. I've got two hundred to go. What smash you? <laughs> You're smashing me. It's it's pretty watershed, mate. Eh? Sorry. Right, we have uh, Chris in the house. Hello, Chris. Thanks for joining us. We have Matt. Oh, um, he's not sure about your hair. Not sure about Tony's hair. Like, what's wrong with hair? I know, it's like faded up. Uh, that's how I used to have my hair, Chris. It's trying to be cool. It's, I, I try and be down on the kids, don't I? Yeah. And um, <laughs> I've got better haircuts than my teenage sons, I reckon. Oh, that's harsh. Really mm. harsh. They wouldn't agree with it. No, they wouldn't agree with that. No. My hairdresser would, though. He loves me. Well, Steph does their hair, so... Oh, yeah. A bit well, awkward. So that's your bone of the week? My bone of the week, yeah. 800 followers in two months. I mean... What can I say? I literally have these cut right now while watching us. I feel yeah. privileged. I know, I feel honoured. If Chris is cutting his hair cut, he could save me a bit of a hair because I found one in the lot. I could put it in a little locket. Oh <laughs> my god, Chris, yeah, <laughs> tie it up in a ribbon, no, write in a little love note and send it to him. Yeah, I could put it in a little locket and I could save put it. Put it in a little this. locket. This is Chris's hair. Yeah, they could be like, what is wrong with you? What is. What's going on? I'll take your hair out first and put Chris's in. I came out to Chris, didn't I? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, hang on, you've got a bit of my hair? That's a little bit. I weird. Yeah, cut it off in your sleep. You don't know about it. Weirdo. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to stop being weird well, and sure. move on to my boner. I have two very, very quick boners. <laughs> They're always quick. Two. <laughs> you do. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. That's what she said. <laughs> right. My one, my first boner is that I am off this weekend, four days off. Woohoo! I did not attend guys either. 
Uh, not next Sunday. This Sunday. Tonight I am. Yeah, so next weekend, you're right. I'm yeah, we're going to talk I'm about I'm there Monday weekend. night, but not Sunday night. Yeah, but you're talking about next weekend. Yeah, so I've got the whole weekend off, and I'm not working Sunday night. Imagine how many cakes it can consume, people. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Uh, my second uh, by night is that you've already brought it up, but I was able to get my hair cut. Got your hair cut? It was heaven. It was heaven. It was heaven. I yeah. came away, and you should. You're like a new man. I feel like it. Yeah. So I feel like yeah, it. So should we move on to our Barry's beefs? Barry beefs, yeah. Barry beefs. I, I didn't think you had a beef. I've got beef. Uh, I have got a couple of beefs now. Oh, Two okay. Quick ones okay. Well, my beef is so we got our boiler replaced this week uh, with a company called British Gas. Obviously, there's other boiler companies out there, though. Of course. But <laughs> It's not really hey. sponsored. <laughs> but, so, I would just like to say, British Gas, absolutely amazing. From start to finish, it was a dream, wasn't it? It was. Yeah, it, was a, it was a dream. But, my little beef is the fact that, so, the salesman comes round, so you book an appointment all online. So, it's all online, quick, easy. They come out. They have a look at your old boiler, have a look and say, right, you need this one and this one, which is wicked, fine. Goes away, you get the quote, then it's up to you to buy the boiler. Yep. So we decided to buy the boiler. Well, on this bill was a system flush. This is very boring, by the way. It is boring, yeah. What are you talking about this for? So system flush for... Give us, give us the short version. 260 quid, right? So, turns out when the engineer comes, don't need the 260 quid. We've already paid for this. So my beef for the week is... We paid for something we didn't need. We paid for something we didn't need. And luckily, the engineer was nice and open and honest and said, you don't need that, we will refund you. Right. So it's not really a beef because we actually did get it sorted. But my beef is people's incompetence. Salesman. Salesman's rubbish. Don't, don't sell somebody something if they don't need it. Yeah. He was hoping to get away with that. 260 quid. I know. Yeah. That was a bit naughty, wasn't it? It was very naughty. But luckily, they have been doing this for 30 years as well. 30 years? Well, yeah. Right, shall I go into my two bigs then? Have, well, you, got, have you got any more bigs? No, that's my only Are you sure? Yeah. It took very two quick bigs. Right, so, one moment, I've got it down because I can't remember. Oh, okay. Right, uh, right, yes, my first beef was with myself. Oh. So I had the two days off, didn't I, the Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. and I thought, you know what, I'm going to smash through some videos this week, I'm going to get up early, I'm going to script them, I'm going to shoot them, I'm going to get them on my phone so they're all it. ready to edit. You know how many I did? None. One. Oh, oh, one. One. One video. Now, I'm not off again until Thursday, so that means I've got, unless I find some time somewhere, I don't know how, I've got to do them a two-minute Tuesday somehow. What is your fault? I know my own fault. Life takes over. So my beef with myself when I had every opportunity to do it. Hang on, life takes over. Oh, I took Phoebe out Friday. Friday we're out most of the day. And then you spent home. hours sat on the sofa. Not on Friday. That was Thursday. Thursday That's was it. poor. Yeah, Thursday was poor. I had the gas man here, didn't I? In the morning till oh, one. Then my yeah. mum came round for a couple of hours. That's true. Uh, That's and true. then Friday I was out all morning. Got my hair cut. Went to see Brent. Went to the window some shopping, and by the time I get home, you're getting mm. home. So, yeah, I, I did run out of okay. time. Run out of time. Let you on. Hey, Flavius, thanks for joining us. So, Flavius, um, he owns his own company. I will be reviewing your product very soon. And this is what I'm talking about. My beef was, I could have reviewed it. I could have put it out there. You were lazy. I was, oh, I've run out of time. But the beef is with myself. So yeah. Yeah. It was lazy, people. You just, you just didn't want to do my, nothing. My second beef mm -hmm. uh, is my tits. Oh. Um, my diet has been like shocking, hasn't it? And I've not helped myself at all. No. Not at all. You went to the, wherever you went on the way home today when you finished work, and said, right, I'll get a snack, because we're eating quite late, I'll get a snack. He buys another pack of cakes. I'm not even joking, they're almond fingers. They're for you. I've got them for you, I don't really like them. I think, when, when? I thought you liked them. I thought you could have a little treat. With your, uh... See, this is what he does. He then passes his fatness on to me. 
trying to get me chubby. Your feeder. <laughs> you are my feeder, yeah, no. The amount of times I say, I'm right, don't eat that, I'm not eating that anymore. No, need to start like proper training. He then goes and buys me a pack of cakes. But last time you did buy that, your, your children ate them all. Yeah. Don't even have one anyway. So they're just eating them again, aren't they? Yeah. Any cakes I eat, if I don't eat them, the boys will eat them on that. They just smash everything, don't they? Literally. Like father, like son, because Josh came out after getting stuff for breakfast today mm. from Aldi mm. with some eclairs. They weren't even on the list. He loves it. Two fat eclairs. Yep. And he would eat both of them. Shall we move on to what we've got in this week? Okay. Do you want to do yours? Yeah, I do want to do mine. Okay, well there you go. I'm going to pass them over to you. Okay. And hop onto those, babe. And then you can uh, give us the lowdown on what you put in. Oh, look at me being all professional. Hey y'all, we've got Hillary in the house. Hey Hills. Hey Hills, thanks for joining us. Uh, so look at me being all professional. I don't even know like, oh, what am I meant to choose? So anyway, I didn't know that this person was going to send me anything. Did Did I? I? No, he didn't say anything. Oh, I know. So, good old Jon Snow and little chum, John, decided to send me some samples, bless him. And I'd just like to clarify, a few weeks back, we had full intentions of showing uh, some samples that Claire actually sent me from Smurfy Girlie. But with Tony's waffle, he definitely get it. A word in there, but I <laughs> So I would just like to say that Claire has also sent me some samples, and I do really appreciate it because in Claire's little haul, there were some that I probably wouldn't even have known about, no, or ever have even got onto your radar. Exactly. And now they are on your radar. Now I'm like, wow. and now we're going to be skimmed because they're... I'm going to have to hoe you out on the corner again. Yeah, you're going to have to get your bone out. <laughs> okay, fair enough. For people. Okay. I've got your price list. Have you? Yeah. Okay, fine. Well, yeah. cool. You can do tea weights. Stop it. Stop it, sorry. Oh, behave yourself. Sorry. Right, Not anyway. Sorry, sorry, I've sorry. Before the watershed. <laughs> You'll get me demonetised for the monetised that. Oh, no. So, anyway. You're going to strike. Moving on. Sorry, that's really bad. Um, so, John has sent me a few little, little numbers of his own little collection. So he knows that I love Alien. Mm -hmm. Probably not as much as John. John is Alien number one fan girl. Mm -hmm. But he actually sent me some aliens that I've never even smelled before. There you go. So and they are all very, very nice. New ones on your radar. Yeah. I don't know how to like pronounce them. So I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce them unless you want to. Right. You can. So we have <laughs> what? I can't read John's writing there, sorry. Uh, X straight something, John, so we've got alien up straight. Is that is that correct? You can give me a thumbs up, John, in the chat if that's correct. So alien up straight. Oh, what? Can you drop my fingers? Got that one? Okay. We have alien O sublime. Mm-hmm. And then we have a little Zara, Violet Blossom. Which you really liked. Which I did really like. John, what's the performance like on that, by the way? Could you let us know? Because Becca hasn't given it full wearing yet. Zara's don't really last that long on me. Zara's last probably about two, three hours, and then that's it. Done. There are some Zara's though, that do last longer. That's one of them. That would, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I would like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, Love and Tears. Killian. Is that Killian? Uh, yes, it is, yeah. And also, A Hundred Silent Ways. Is that it? A Hundred Silent Ways by Nishar. Is it Nishar, eh? Yeah. Oh, I think it's Nishar. Oh, that just smells amazing. It is gorgeous. It is that, so, John, you've got something to answer for because that is like massively, massively on our radar. She loves it. We're going down to London in a few weeks, aren't we? We'll be having a look at Harrods and different places. We're meeting up with a fragrance friend. We've got friends. And um, you're, you you probably got that on your radar. But hey, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. See, see how it goes. Too much of <laughs> out first. Yes, and um, not like get your black tick on YouTube or whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah. So Brent said, when does Tony take his t-shirt off? Uh, it's not that kind of show. 
<laughs> Trust me. <laughs> at the moment, you would. I know you've seen it with it off, Brent, but it's not a pretty sight. Not at the moment. Let me get back training first. Uh, me and Becca would like to talk to you about uh, just me and you, her coming in maybe on a Sunday. I'll talk to you about that. We'll sort of price out, we'll get down, and me and Becca would like to rent the space off you for a Sunday afternoon, hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. We just discussed it briefly, but I'd like to mention it while he's in the room. We didn't mean to discuss it, we just said we could do this. And you went, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. So, that's it. and then I won't have teas for much longer. <laughs> And if I stop eating cake and start training again, then I might get, it might be that kind of show after Lord's shift. Oh, like during your new fragrance? Yeah, You've got to take your top yeah. off and start squaring yeah, people. But only when I'm ready. I'm not ready for this right now. I'm not ready for this right now. No. No, it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I'm not into, I'm not, I don't want to get the tits out for everyone. No. Sorry. Man Sorry. boobs. Right, so what have I got in this week? I have got in... Oh, look at this. <laughs> So the people that aren't into fragrance that are going to be watching this, they're going to be wondering why I'm so excited about this. And they're going to be like, what is this? Do we even know this person? Who is he? Has he always been this sad? Well, I get excited about these things. Look at that. Oh. A recommendation from some fragrance friends. <coughs> oh, no. It came through very quickly. And that is, an, I'm really looking forward to reading it on the toilet. That's why I'm going to keep it. Can I call it your nerd book? Yes, my, it is. you called it that as I walked in. <laughs> you said you're a nerd, didn't you? I was like, oh, Tony's got his nerdy book. Ever the supportive person. <laughs> <laughs> I won't forget the white trunks, Nigel. <laughs> and uh, Brent needs a frag t-shirt. Uh, Brent supplied me with enough t-shirts, so I'm sure, sure I'll have to. Uh, I've not got merch, by the way. You can't buy my stuff. I just bought myself one off of a website, so I'd have to then buy another one for, off that website. So, um, so, and I made sure I got a decent, decent one, so it weren't that cheap. So, uh, it's beautiful. Merch isn't available just yet, guys. <laughs> it's just right. wonderful. What else have we got in this week? Because we, we're getting on time. We've got about oh, yeah, seven minutes. Right. I got in a couple of bottles. I got Insurrection Pure, Pure, and this is the sorry. So this is Ray N Tradition Insurrection. Pure. <laughs> Insurrection Pure. Right? No. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Hang on. Face? No, it's not drooping. No, I'm alright. Arm? No, no, it's not drooping. Stop joking about stuff like that because that's not good. In <laughs> I can't remember. Insurrection Pure 2. Nigel recognised the bottle because I bought a bottle, different fragrance, same company, same looking bottle. This is the ro a rather boring clone of Aventus. I sprayed it not straight even. away, and you were uh, not as if I've got enough of it, no. these sort of things. But actually, it's a it's a good smell from the smell. Give it a little smell. It's actually a great smell. It really is. Yeah. It doesn't really add anything to my collection. No. Really, does it? Mm -hmm. No. But it was cheap. It came with some more stuff. So the other stuff it came with were partials, and one has really, really surprised me. The first was my scent of the day today, and I'll be posting this on some Instagram later. And it is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Glabana. Sun. Dolce & Gabbana <laughs> Light Blue Sun. I love Gabbana. Really, really enjoyed the wearing of this, but it didn't last too long on my skin. I think I got oh, used no. to it. No, it might have lasted longer because I didn't have you to go, can you still smell it? But it smells lovely. Lovely, lovely summer fragrance. But it just sort of, for me, I couldn't smell it for very long. Oh. But I'm not sure if it was there, but I just couldn't pick it up. Okay. So, and then lastly, no, I've got one more, sorry. Did I show you that? I've never seen it on my Instagram. I got that I in last week, but I'm not sure I showed you. So we've got Hugo Boss the scent. I think you did actually. Quite a bit of cord. I may have shown it already. So. Apologise if I have. And and lastly, I got in Molecule O2, so eccentric molecule 02, and it's the Androxin one. So this is, uh, this is this is the big surprise for me. I wore this on my arm last night. It smells quite nice. And it does smell really, really good. I get like a, I'm not sure if it's because I see a bottle with a bit of orange on, but I get an orange-type fragrance. <laughs> Almost like there is a little bit of manner in I know there's not. I think you need to read that book. <laughs> 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 oh, dear, I think I do. Uh, right, a couple of mentions from our fragrance friends and community for this week. So this is going to be our new feature that you don't even know about. Oh, uh, just, we haven't discussed this. You know, so 
you can maybe think of a mention and I'll think of a couple of mentions. Oh, okay. We've filled the time because we haven't got that long left. And in fact, I can see we mm -hmm. have our guests waiting in the studio. Don't so say no. anymore. No, no. I'm not going to give it away this week. <laughs> but we can see you. You'll be on in just a couple of minutes. So all good, I hope? Excellent. Right. Hopefully the sound works this week. So yeah, fingers crossed. Answered. I've checked my phone. Hopefully it works. Okay. Fingers crossed. Okay. I've done everything I can to make it work. If it doesn't work, we cry. We're gonna cry. <laughs> Hopefully it works. Right. Okay, so what's this segment called? This segment can be called Fragrance Appreciation. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right, so my big one is a, I would say she's become a really, really good friend of ours, mm -hmm. I would say, and she reached 5,000 followers this week. Oh, yeah. Okay. And we just noticed she's, she's in, in the room. House. As if by magic she's as appeared. And we didn't even say the magic word. Didn't even say the magic word. No. What is the magic word? Bing. 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 There we go. Oh, bing, bing, bing. Yeah. <laughs> so Claire Smurfy Girly reached 5,000 subscribers in the last couple of days. So a Ooh. massive, massive round of applause we get, we should, for Claire. We should get uh, particle poppers. Yeah, we should have got particle poppers. Didn't think of that. Yeah. But, so massive, massive congratulations yes. to Claire. It is a big achievement. I think it's it's huge. Yeah, and it's quite she's going to keep growing. I know she is. We've got a lovely, lovely group of people that join all of our lives. We've nicked the majority of them, haven't we? Yeah. And we've kind of forced ourselves upon them. Yeah, we have. They just joined our lives. Yeah. yeah. So thanks, Claire. We're kind of like, do you want to be friends? Yeah. Cool. So congratulations. Again, <laughs> Thank you. Have you got any mentions to anyone you'd like to mention this week at all? Uh, let's give Stephen a shout out. Stephen? Yeah. What, from? Prime. Prime, Prime? okay. Yeah. yeah. He's taken some wicked like photographs recently. Yeah. And even though, you know, may actually want to defriend him because, you know. It's too good for you. It's just stuff that I don't need that stuff on my face. It's not competition, babe. Yeah, you two can no, rule no, the world. I'm joking. You two can rule the world. <laughs> I am joking. No, keep doing what you're doing, Stephen. Um, you're pretty wicked. So, big thumbs up. And also, one last thing, Barry. Massive thank you again for joining our live last week. We really enjoyed that. Oh, chat. Barry and his really little family. Really unexpected with Beth and his children. Lovely, lovely family and a great, great guy and someone that I, I look up to actually. I think I've got a lot of time for Barry. So. And I hope his little girl's YouTube is taking off. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. She's, She's got a couple of followers, I think, from that as well. No. Right, so without further ado, I'm going to bring in our guest. Fingers crossed this is going to work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed the sound will work. Uh oh. So are we ready in the background there? Let me just get our questions out and ready as well. Yeah. Yeah. So My very important questions. Oh God, that sounds... They, your they're questions? good. And there's my questions. Right. Oh, I better put this on the left. If I drop that wire, it's just going to go... It will. Yeah. So are we ready? I think we're I ready. I think we're ready. Yeah. So in three, two, one, we have... Hello, <laughs> Hello. Clement. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, yeah, are you ready? Right, right. right, bear with me Can one second. Oh. oh. There we go. Has everyone got an echo? Yeah. Yes, there's a right. bit of echo. Right, Clement, just bear me yep. one moment. Yep. What we're going to do is we're going to come out of the chat for just a second. Yep. Anyone can ask Clement some questions so she doesn't feel a bit awkward. <laughs> and we have this problem every week. For the last two or three weeks, we've done this has happened, so I apologise massively. We're going to have to come out the stream and then come straight back in. But we won't keep you very long. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping the channel, that's fine. Yeah, just take over the channel. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Okay. One second. Let me leave. Okay, so I'm alone now. Right. <laughs> yeah, Clement's selling everyone one of the best-selling fragrances in the oh, 
It's Joop. I know. <laughs> I think I can still hear them actually. It's quite funny. Oh, there's Mia. Oh, there's one second. We're going to come out a moment. Hi, uh, Mia. Just the usual Tony will fix. Well, I mean, I've got so many problems with my camera at the moment. I can't, I can't do the set, the focus properly, so I can definitely relate anyway. Who is there? Good day, Clement, the Centurion. Oh, there's Nigel there. Rose and Jones. Oh, she's lovely. Hey, beautiful. I officially have incredible tests. Actually, John, like, you know, when I've done the video about the bestseller in, in fragrance in the UK, I've seen you. I was laughing. I was like, oh my God, John. <laughs> it's you. You actually buying all the bottle of jupe, I'm sure. Hiya, Clemence. Hiya. Uh, how are you doing, Clemence? I'm all right. I'm all right, guys. Like, how are you doing? I mean, for me, it's quite like uh, I just get back from work. So it was a very long day, but I'm happy to be back home. It's a bit like a. A struggle at the moment to manage like YouTube and, and work, but it's okay. I mean, at least I'm busy. I'm doing something. <laughs> How about you guys? How is it going? Yo, they're talking with you. Oh, there you go. Hi, is it working? <laughs> can you hear us yet, Clement, or not? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. You can hear us, but we somehow, I don't know what's going on, but we can't hear you without an echo. So is that, can you talk a moment? Yeah. And have we got any echoes? A little bit, I think. Right, okay. But that's but well, that's not too bad though, uh, Tony. That's not too is bad. Is that okay? Can we deal with that? I think I think I mean I don't know how people are in the chat, but for me it's not bad. Is is there too much of an echo? Would we like to try and leave try another fix? A little bit, but manageable. Yeah, that's what okay. I saw. Bear me one moment. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I should speak. <laughs> Sounds too well. Is it okay? Is that I can. Okay? We still can't hear you on our camera, no. This is crazy. Oh, you said you got it all sorted. I did. Such a letdown. I am a letdown. How about if it's changing something, if I'm putting my earphone or something like that? Uh, that may, it may work. It may oh, work. Actually, I can't hear me anymore. Oh, yes, a little bit. But it's not too bad. To my part, actually. This is but poor Tony's stress levels are going. <laughs> My stress levels go mad, Clements. I'm sorry. Oh dear. We don't want the echo, so we're trying to get this sorted right. Just we we'll give this one last attempt. We're going to start to stay with the stream, so we will get this sorted. We're not going to give up on this, but I'll be back again in a moment. I just want to come out. What I'm going to do, Clements? First of all, I'm going to kick you out and then get you back in, and then we'll then what we'll do is we'll do the same thing again. Okay, that's so fine. Fingers, Fingers crossed that works. <laughs> right. Can everyone hear us okay? Hopefully people can hear us okay. I cannot apologize enough for this. It's Every awful. Week, it right? really is awful. But we're both okay there, in, which is good. It's more that we can't hear Clements through our actual streaming device. We've got a laptop on and we're having to hear the sound through the laptop, which is just literally the most frustrating thing in the world. <laughs> it really is. So, right, we'll be back in a second. I'm just gonna try and add Clements back to the stream. And it'll be good. My phone is, the sound's definitely working on my phone because <laughs> I've got notifications through and it was pinging at me. Well, yeah, so really, I, don't, really I don't really know what's going on. Right, so let's see if this works. We'll grab Clements back in the room. Try again. <laughs> yeah. Am I back? Oh my goodness. It wouldn't be fun without any technical issues, okay? That's all right. <laughs> I, get, I get sweaty and horrible as well. He's stressing. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. 
I apologise, everyone. We'll start again. Clement, you're a star. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you been then? How's your week been? Uh, very busy. Very busy for me. I mean, uh, I, was, uh, I was working all day this week. It's been uh, quite difficult to go back to work. And she had been a month now I'm back to work. So I'm trying to manage with editing video and actually working, which is pretty tough, but uh, I'm happy to be back at work at least, you know, it's, it's nice to see your colleague again and things like that. So it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> How about it's you? Busy. Yeah, we've been busy as always. We're, yeah. busy. We're a busy family and uh, I know how you, I know I can feel your pain with the editing and trying to find the time. Trying to find the time to you, you know what I mean? Text me yeah, and you've got to try and concentrate on work as well, which is difficult when you've got other things going on. So uh, it's switching that back on. And you had a long time on furlough as well, didn't you? So it's actually... What do you mean, sorry? You were on furlough leave, was that right? For quite some uh, time? Yeah, kind of. Well, actually, um, I was actually on, on sickness because I'm uh, asthmatic. So I uh, had to stay at home during three months uh, because I couldn't go out because of that. It was too risky, so yeah. Well, uh, we're all back now. It's getting back to some normality, isn't it? Which is nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much for accepting to come onto our live. We do appreciate it. It's really that's nice. A pleasure. I mean, I'm looking at your live sometimes, so I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I can be part of it for once, so it's nice. Excellent. What I'll do, we'll get on to questions in just a sec. I just want to announce something while you're here as well. I remember to do it. We have got a live on Saturday, which you know that you've been invited to and yes. agreed to come on. I think the drinks were the tip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, sorry, you said there's something with the other girls and things like that. I was like, oh, okay, nice. And then you said drinks. And I was like, oh, yeah, I mean, I uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all motivate you, that's perfect. <laughs> so, yes, the live is going to be with, we've had five people confirmed, Clements, five lovely ladies, as well as myself as a lovely lady, of course. Obviously. Obviously. And uh, we, I'm going to be discussing the subject a little bit more with you, with you all in the week without taking too much of your time. But there won't be much prep, nothing to worry about, just a bit of fun again. So we look forward to that. And that's going to be about nine o'clock on Saturday night. And we have five lovely ladies confirmed. So I'm looking forward to that. Be good. Perfect. Excellent. Right. Shall we move on to some questions? Yeah. You well, you've got the most important question of number one. Yeah. I like you so Don't be scared. It's fine. <laughs> you've got that look of fear. You've got that look of fear on your face. It's going to be good. Don't worry. Right. So the first question I ask everybody. Yes. Is does pineapple belong on pizza? Does what? Does pineapple belong no, on pizza? No! 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 <laughs> it's right, a disgrace! Stream... What is this? <laughs> stream ended. <laughs> I can answer. <laughs> I know you love pineapple, but I'm sorry. <laughs> Not good enough, right. <laughs> we'll move on quickly then. No, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry, no, I'm being stopped. You've got, uh, you normally ask the next question. Okay. What is your go-to topping for pizza? Oh, okay. Uh, for me, that would be, I mean, I'm French. Any cheese, like, would be the best. Like, I, I like the food with a, a glass of red wine, and I'm really happy. <laughs> okay. Perfect. We, we, can, we can manage that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. We won't. We won't end it now. Then. Okay. Well, no, we won't end it. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you. This will be the deciding factor whether we press the end on the stream or not. Would you have gorgonzola or or blue cheese on pizza? Oh, blue cheese. Yes. Because okay. gorgonzola is nice. But I think blue cheese got a bit more personality, like a, a bit more character. Blue cheese. There we go. Perfect. There we go. She can stay. You can stay. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> what would you say has been your highlight of lockdown? Oh, my highlights of lockdown. Uh, I mean, there were two. Uh, the first one was I had during three months, I had no conversation with anybody physically. 
And I actually had a discussion of 15 minutes with the cashier of Iceland. And that was one I liked, first of all. <laughs> and oh, second... <laughs> <laughs> so that was really exciting. <laughs> but now I would say, honestly, without any joke, um, it was probably uh, the, the YouTube channel because I put a lot of work uh, into that because I had nothing else to do really at that moment. So uh, it was great to spend so much time. Uh, editing, creating, doing a bit more on YouTube. So that for me, that was the best highlight. And going back to work, it feels really weird because I saw during three months, I was a full-time reviewer. That was amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. Do you think, do you struggle now with finding, um, not the motivation, just, you know, changing your routine again? Even though you were used yeah. to the routine, obviously before lockdown, that was your routine, like us, going mm -hmm. to work and then Crazy. dealing with the kids when you come home and then your days off because the kids were at school mm -hmm. were to do with YouTube and yeah. making videos. Now you've got to kind of get yourself back into what you were in before. Yeah, yeah, that, that's why I thought was really difficult, uh, especially like, I, I don't find any time to, to do the videos and things like that. So I have to edit everything during the night when I'm coming back home from work. And yeah. it's just really tiring. And, and I'm like, I, I can't find a good reason. Like, I'm really lost. So my kind of social life is a bit gone because I don't know where to fit it. Uh, so <laughs> Literally, well, we don't have a social life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have your own social life, which is nice. <laughs> <laughs> No one likes us, it's fine, don't worry. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Why. <laughs> right, so, you, what was, so we said about what's been your highlight. What would you say has been the low light of lockdown for you? Uh, I would say probably like, uh, I mean, I'm not going to go to dramatic subject, but I think uh, it was difficult to manage a good mental health, especially yeah. being, being alone. Uh, I mean, I'm all right. I've got my two bunnies at home and things like that. And I, I'm quite a loner. It doesn't show like that, but I'm, I'm happy to be alone. But uh, during the time, not seeing your family, not seeing anyone was very struggling. After after one month and a half, I was like, okay, that, that's enough. Uh, yeah. So that, that was my, my big my big low light, I would say. Like, uh, that was the most challenging thing ever. So. Do you have family here or did you... Did you... Mm. Uh, London by yourself? Did you have uh, family well, in already? No, I actually, uh, my, all my family is in France. It's one day, I, I always wanted to live in London, so one day I quit my job and I took my luggage with my boyfriend at the time and, and we moved uh, We moved in London just like this, like without any plan. I, ju I just wanted to be there. <laughs> so I've got no one here really, but it's not far. No, it's not. It's just a train ride around, really, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. From London, you can get back to Paris very quickly, can't you? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very quick. I take yeah. an hour of train and I'm home, so I can't, I can't really complain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right, we'll move on then. Uh, when, when you're allowed to get back on a plane or visit different places, where will be the first place you'd like to travel to? Okay, so I'm not going to include my hometown because that's going to be definitely the first place I would like to go. Uh, I mean, in Britain, uh, I would like to go by the sea with my parents and that's it. Uh, but however, like if I could go somewhere, I would go to Italy uh, because, you know, like we were supposed to go to Exence uh, in Milan and I was really looking forward to it because I took like a good week to actually visit Milan and I really wanted to go to there and I love Italy. Uh, so I love the food, I love the people, uh, and I love the view. So um, I would like uh, I, I need to, I need to go back there. So I would I would go there definitely. Italy, we've always wanted to go to Italy, haven't we? Yeah, we've never been. No, we really want to go. We need to go on a trip to Venice together. It's beautiful and oh, romantic. We do, we do. We've been poor at city <laughs> We really have. We, Literally. We, we have said, and this was just before lockdown, we went to Poland, we went to Krakow for the weekend. Yeah. And we said, when we got back, we're going to book a city trip for just me and Becca. It's been mm -hmm. difficult because children and stuff, but 
we, Phoebe's got to an age now where the grandparents love to have her. So yeah. It's yeah. Not so, so she's eight now. So we're going to make a habit. And my old, my boys are older. My oldest is 18. I've got a 15-year-old boy as well. So they, a 15-year-old boy is with his mum. Uh, he stays with us all during the week, but he can go to his mum's for the weekend. So mm -hmm. but my 18, 18-year-old boy will probably just throw parties. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have a city break once a year. That's what we're going to aim to do. Just us, just us. <laughs> need and deserve some time together just for you because uh, and you're doing so much as well that you definitely deserve it Thank just a you. little bit of yourself we do it's very nice to get us time you, really you, don't, you don't have to take over 40. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, <laughs> right so that's where in the world has been your favorite holiday mm. I would say I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be very creative, but I would say Venice uh, in Italy again. Uh, I've been last year, and it was my first true trip alone because uh, before I, I used to be with someone, so I used to be uh, everywhere with someone, and I decided to go to Venice by myself to do a romantic trip on my own. And I loved it. I was alone. I was like having restaurants by myself. I was like, you know, in a gondola, having some pizza, some wine, and I enjoyed it so much. So that was definitely my best journey. And oh my God, guys, in Venice, you have so much fragrance to try. It's amazing. <laughs> like, it's so beautiful. So you, you definitely need to go. <laughs> we, we will definitely be going to Venice at some point. Yeah. I think it's amazing that you go on your own. I think that's it's brave. Yeah, it's not many brave. people would do that. So hats <laughs> off to you. I think that is like proper, you know, girl power. Go on your own. Everybody yeah. else. So you go on your own. That means yeah. Break. After today, I would love to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm putting a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. I yeah, I would say, no, no, it's, it's important, you know, you need to take time for yourself as well sometimes. Yeah, no, good for you. I think that's amazing. Not many people have the courage to go off oh. on their own to explore and yeah. even hop well, on the plane. You wouldn't even go to the cinema on your own, babe. I'm not really a big fan, like, of films, really, but <laughs> if it was something that I was into, probably now, with the kids getting older and they don't leave me alone, bless them. Two hours on your own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I, uh, oh, sorry, to be fair, at first I really regretted it, trust me, when you're in a boat with a suitcase, with a little dress, alone, and the boat is nearly sinking into the wave of Venice, you're like, oh my god, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> so, a uh, smooth link into the next question, actually, so what is your favourite film or film genre? Oh. Genre. Oh la la, so uh, my favorite film, that's very difficult. Uh, I mean, I've got, I'm really a bit romantic in type of film, but really, <laughs> voila, I like little romantic movies, but I love Woody Allen kind of movies. I love it, like Match Point, I love Match Point, things like that, Scoop, I love it. Uh, and everything that is a bit more magical, like Tim Burton movies, uh, yeah. anything like that. I love the dark atmosphere, I love the fact that it's very, deep, mysterious, things like that. And uh, my favourite movie has been completely out of the job and Good Morning England for the music. Excellent. You, you love Tim Burton, don't you? Oh, I you think he's just... He's just amazing. I mean, to climb inside his brain and yeah. just see what goes on in there, I think it will just be insane. I think he's fantastic. I like, I like that many things like this, yeah. I think uh, it's quite interesting to learn about those kind of people. Like, he's very unusual, and I, I love yeah. that. Oh, I think it'd be absolutely brilliant to have a conversation with. He's oh, one of those people who would invite to a dinner party, 100%. Oh, please, please do. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> there will be lots of wine and cheese. <laughs> oh, 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 even without Tim Burton, this is soon. So going on to the um, fantasy sort of film genre, what, who would you say would be your, who, if you were a Disney princess, who would you be? Uh, I'll be Mulan, 100%. Uh, because 
I don't, I don't really like, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't really like Disney princesses as normal, like Cinderella, everyone, because I like women to have the power and I like them to be like strong and good character and you like to go to the world, take the place of a man and she's just like, uh, I don't know, a hero. And for me, that, that's a real lady and I really enjoy that. So it's definitely more, more me, like a, a Mulan one. How about you? Which one would you be? Uh, uh, turn it around on you, there you go. Who would or is I... it me? Am I going to be a Disney princess? Well, we all know you're, you're a princess, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I would probably be... I'd like to be Sleeping Beauty. Oh! That's, oh. that's harsh. <laughs> well, you would be the prince, so that's all right. I'd wake you up. When I want... Maybe sometime. <laughs> Brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Wake me up from your terms. Who would I be? Oh, see, I am with you with the whole, you know, girl power. You know, you don't really need, you know, a, a man to do stuff for you. But I think, based on me as a person, who would I be? You've got far looks now, Clement. She wasn't expecting that at all. The thing <laughs> is, I'm not, I'm not really girly. I don't really follow the rules as per se. So, I don't think I'm posh enough to live, live in a big, big castle, but like Cinderella or stuff like that. Oh, come on. We mm. nice dresses and things like that. We, we want a but name. I would probably be Anna from Frozen. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is she a princess? I don't know when she's a princess. I think she is. I think she's a princess. Okay, not. Yeah. She's the daughter of a king and queen, so she must be. Well, yeah, that's true. Elsa's more sort of like the main princess out Frozen, isn't she? Yes. But I'd probably be Anna. <laughs> just going off when when she's told not to, just going off and doing it anyway. That's me all over. Rebel. That's what she is. <laughs> 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 she doesn't wear the big dresses that's not me no. so yeah i'll probably be honor that's a good okay. choice yeah unusual one but yeah i would we're gonna move we've got, i've got a fragrance question and then we'll hop back and forth between our questions but have you got a do you watch much youtube clements is there many people you watch at all watch what do you watch much youtube do you watch uh, many channels Oh yeah, yeah. I'm been changing YouTube all the time. Like I mean, every time, like the, every minute of my life, I've got a YouTube video in the back. Um, it's not. I'm gonna be honest. It's not always fragrance because I, I, I mean, I'm fragrance specialist as my work, and then I do having like a fragrance channel. So there's a lot of fragrance in my life. So when I watch YouTube myself, I like to watch something totally out of it. So I'm watching lots of documentaries, uh, lots of French YouTubers to speak of French or things like that. But, but yeah, that's it really. But always, always in the background, definitely. Sorry, our dog is barking like that. Can you hear him? Yeah. No, no, no. I can't. Can you not? Oh, Tony's just going to uh, sort them out. <laughs> We're so professional, aren't we? First of all, we can't even get our mic sorted. Now we've got dog like yapping in the background. <laughs> No, I've got a bunny that's scratching in the background, so you know it's all right. Ah, what are your bunnies called? Uh, there's Merlin and there's Charlie. Uh, if you want to, I can just bring Merlin for you to have a look. <laughs> yeah, go. Yes, yes, definitely. Let me, let me get Merlin. <laughs> Apologies, I'm sorry. We're having some animal love right now. She's going okay, to there we go. So that's Merlin. Oh. <laughs> and Charlie's sleeping, so I can't take him. So Charlie is like a, a black bunny, and Merlin is the biggest one. So there we go. Uh, do they just like hop around? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to have them in freedom. So they're just there, like having fun, playing with my oh, camera. Sweet. Oh, adorable. <laughs> Just around, loving life. Do they create? Like, I'm going to be like a man here. Do they create much mess? Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? Like, if I leave anything, like anything on the floor, he will eat it. Last year, last week, he's been eating my leather jacket. I was like, Oh no! 
eating everything. And uh, if I'm going uh, out of home too long, it will take any book. It will take it and it will scratch all the page. <laughs> oh no! Did they actually eat? Like actually eat the leather jacket? Yes, they did. They did. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, you yeah. some more issues. Uh, oh, it's not, it's not. oh no! Okay, so this leads me on to the next question. If you had to pick between cats or dogs, I so know obviously you love bunnies, but mm -hmm. what? dog, hundred percent. Yeah. Just because, like, I I had dogs before, and I I love the fact that they're so loyal to you. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that's so human to me. Like, uh, I, I used to talk to my dog before. I mean, it's strange, but I, I, I love dogs. So, cats, it's nice, but I I think that they're a bit selfish <laughs> sometimes. Oh, yeah, they are. They come in for food, and then they just leave you again. So, that's you're basically okay. just their feeder. But I talk to my dogs. I talk to my dogs all the time. Oh, so, it's so cute. <laughs> and he just looks at me, so to say... Don't really know what you're saying, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, we've got two little dogs. We've got Teddy and Jackson. Oh, you lucky like though. It's nice. Jackson's the naughty one, as you can tell. That causes Tony to stress even more. And then Tony's just like, again. Oh my <laughs> god, what's the <laughs> thing? <laughs> um, the man so, out. Sorry, people. I'm going to ask a question because, well, you've not been here, so I'm Oh, okay, fair enough. enough. Do ask a question. So, you've always got beautiful makeup on. So, okay. I, love, I love the lippies that you've got. So, what is your favourite lippy that you have? Uh, I would say definitely Chanel. I love, uh, I, I've got a lot of Chanel lipstick. So, uh, a good red lipstick is always working with everything. Not today, but uh, but yeah, definitely like a Chanel lipstick. Lovely. Not that you probably care, but. I'm, <laughs> 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 I'm going to go and put it in my basket right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that. Ask me a, a masculine question then. Okay, I'm going to ask you a fragrance question. If you can only buy fragrances from free different fragrance houses oh. who would you choose which fragrance houses would you choose oh god um chanel number one but that's i'm not even thinking i've got like mostly all the collection of chanel i i can't do it uh then oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, probably, I would say Maison Francisca Jean because I love the fragrance, like Gentle Feed Singles. I love Grand Soir, it's my favorite, one of my favorite scents. Um, so that would be definitely one because I, I love everything. I love the perfumer, I love the guy, and I love his fragrance. They're really nicely blended. So, yes. And then, third one, oh my god, I'm, look, I'm looking at my fragrance and I'm like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom Ford, Tom Ford, definitely. Lovely. I Tom think Ford. you could definitely live off those free fragrance houses and have plenty of choice as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good choices. <laughs> Good choices. <laughs> right. What would you say your favourite note is in a fragrance? Have you got a favourite thing that you just think is adorable? What do you like? Uh, I love sandalwood because it's very creamy. And it's got a lot of personality without being too offensive. And it's like, it's the best base note to me because it goes with a lot of blends. And I just love the raw ingredient by itself. I think it's very elegant without being like any uh, offensive to anyone. So that would be definitely that. And uh, Neroli as well. I love Neroli because it smells a bit like baby powder, very soft, very powdery. So I, I love that. I think it's always that like, soothing and relaxing me. So those two definitely. Excellent. Good choices. What are yours? Mine. Um, I think that people that watch my channel know that I really enjoy Iris. Yes, we know this. Yeah. Uh, really, really enjoy Iris. And I've become to like Ambroxan a lot more. Oh, really? Um, yeah, you know what? I watched the. You know when Judah Rowe started sort of mentioning about Ambroxin being 
something that she really enjoyed. Mm -hmm. it, it intrigued me because women, not, not I wouldn't say fragheads like yourself, but a lot of women tend to enjoy the generic fragrances. Mm -hmm. Becca definitely does in terms of things like Bleu de Chanel, yeah. um, Sauvage. The things actually you mentioned in your video that I watched earlier, those generic scents, they, they, the, the figures don't lie, do they? they what were the three top three, top selling French fragrances that you mentioned? Uh, there was Sauvage for men, there was Bleu de Chanel and Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Man. There we go. So those <laughs> mass appealing fragrances, a lot of those type fragrances have ambroxan in. And recently, comments I picked up that. Uh, molecule. Molecule O2. Is, is it the Ambrox one? Yes, it is, yes. Mm. How and, do you find it on your skin, though? Uh, it go, it's quite woody. Uh, it, lasts, it lasts a long time as well. It really does project and okay. last quite well. And I found the note a little bit sweeter than I was expecting. Oh, okay. Um, I found it very different to how you'd expect Sauvage to be, for example, which has yeah. tons of it in. Yeah. And you actually could see the similarity a little bit there. Oh, 100%. Whereas I took it just on the note and I really enjoyed it. So I am going to give those fragrances a little bit more time, I think, now. Because Yay. I just when you, go into, when you go into Boots or you go into John Lewis or a big department store, a lot of these mass-produced fragrances, they all smell quite similar to me. And I get a bit bored by them. Yeah, um, I can but I think I don't give them enough time. I don't live with them because I think, no, I want something a bit different. But I think yeah. I'm going to give them enough time. You need to, you need to, because like, I mean, for me, I've got a background in designers, 100%. Like, I mean, that, that was all my studies. I worked a lot around designers. And uh, I was always surprised by the quality of some, I mean, you, you have an amazing quality of ingredients. It's just like, Sometimes we forget that they could be very unique by themselves because we used to them. But um, yeah, definitely you need to spend some time. It's a shame to, to just uh, put them aside because they're mass appealing, because they could be really amazing when well blended. And that's a shame to like you know, leave it alone. So, uh, and I, I've got, uh, I know Sauvage gets a lot of hate in the community, but I have the Parfum version and I just love it. <laughs> I yes, uh, I, I prefer the parfum as well. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I, I'm honest with you, I'm not personally a fan of Sauvage, but I have to say the parfum was better to me. After, like I said, like Sauvage is, is a classic, it's nicely blended, you've got a quality of ingredient. After, it's not to my taste, but I think it's a nice fragrance, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Right, so have you got any questions you'd like to ask or should I carry on? Oh! Okay, what should we break up the uh, fragrance question? Yes, why not? Okay. Uh, oh, I have a good one actually. Okay. Well, yeah. So, if you could time travel, what year and country would you go to? That's a good question. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Put you on the spot. <laughs> It's mind blowing. <laughs> uh, so I can go anywhere. You mean anywhere. not in my first story? No, anywhere at all. Anytime. Any any year, any country, so anywhere at all. Or an era. You don't have to spec say a specific year. So you yeah, you could of... go to an era, you could go to the sixties or I know already. <laughs> Uh, I think, well, that's true, it's quite difficult. Um, I would go, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a vintage girl, like, I mean, I do everything that is vintage. I would go all to the 20s with the Art Deco style, Baroque, a bit like a rock and roll dancing. I would love to go back to that. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I would go directly to Versailles, in the Renaissance, with Madame Pompadour and, uh, <laughs> and having like cupcake and tea with uh, the ladies of the, 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 the castle. Yeah. That would be perfect. <laughs> love it. I, do you know what? I actually thought you would probably go to that era. I didn't think about the 20s, but I thought, <laughs> I bet she'll go to that era, and you just said it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, 
I love I love anything that uh, I just love the vibe of it. It's not really for the royalty stuff and things like that. Yeah. I just enjoy, you know, those kind of style, a bit baroque, uh, very good, a lot of details in decoration. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. So uh, I would love I would love to see that. Yeah. Excellent. We um, right another question for you. Which is uh, you don't have to answer. This is a little bit more personal, but which fragrance reviewer would you say you talk to the most? Do I talk to at the moment? Yes. Who do you talk uh, to the most as another fragrance reviewer? Have you got someone you talk to a lot? Yeah, I mean, uh, I've got I've got a few good friends. I think okay. I'm talking a lot with uh, Josephine from Judo. She's she's one of she. I would say she she's my best friend from the fragrance community. I, I love her. She, we we have good contact. Uh, we've seen each other a few times and. So, so definitely her. Uh, I mean, I'm talking to a lot of people. There's, there's Chris uh, from time to time. We see each other from Fragmental that I, I love. Uh, I mean, who do I talk to the most? Uh, oh, there's, uh, do you know Dava from Fragmental Bros? Yes, Dava. Yes, Dava. Yes, uh, I, I, I love him. And I'm talking to him quite a lot because he makes me laugh. And he always laughs because usually I post stupid stuff on Instagram and his story. And he's always laughing at that all the time. And he's been helping me with my microphone because I didn't know how it works. <laughs> so he explained to me. <laughs> so, no, I, I really like him. He's really nice. So I'm getting to, to know him by message, of course, but I really like him. But, I mean, everyone, for me, is super nice, so it's difficult to choose, really. Excellent. This sort of related to that question, really, but if you could only pick three fragrance reviewers that you talk to on a regular basis, I think you probably name them, but I, I, it was a separate question. What I was hoping was that you just say one person you talk to regularly at the moment. Then I could go on to ask you, who's your, who's your three people you speak to the most? But I think you just answered that. <laughs> I already answered everything. But I mean, there's a lot, you know, I can, I can add... Um... I, I, hold on, I, I, I don't know even, like, uh, I'm talking to a lot of people really, and I think everyone is amazing, but yeah, that, that's the main one at the moment. Uh, I, I, I've got a special mention to John from Instagram from Sentinel Student Drops. He's always there. He's always watching the video. He's always bringing good mood. I love talking to him and I love to uh, read what he's posting as well. So it definitely would be uh, one of those as well. Yeah, John is one of my best friends in the community as well. well he's amazing. He's amazing. So good choice. He holds, he holds up his community, the community, I think, with his uh, positivity. He's just such a yeah. positive, supportive person, isn't he? And not just from on your channel, but from so many different channels. He's just so, so supportive of everybody, which I just love. Sorry, it's I nice. thought you just liked their sweet. So. <laughs> Important, important. You're saying you're just randomly pointing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no! I've got, I've got a good question for you, Clements. I think it's a good question. So, can you tell us about what your hopes and your dreams are for your channel? Have you got like an end game, or uh, tell us a bit more, more about what what your plans are with your channel? Of course, uh, I mean for, for the channel. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm taking it very seriously, but I'm trying to not. Uh, uh, I. I don't know what's going to go on. I'm just doing what I like, and if it's growing, it's good. If it's not, I'm happy as well because I'm already happy with what I have. So um, we'll see if it grows. If it grows, that's even better. But uh, my ultimate project will be to create my fragrance house. Um, that will be definitely something that. Even with the without the YouTube, would be di uh, directed to my passion because I've got studies in perfumery and I'm working as fragrance specialist. So for me, the natural road to that would be to create my fragrance house. Uh, because at the moment I work for a fragrance house, but I want to have mine uh, with my own idea. So that that would be the best for me to just express my creativity and show a bit my universe even more uh, to that. And if I can bring uh, the, the people that are following me uh, with in this little adventure, I would be so happy. Excellent. That's, that actually led me on to another one of the questions, and Becca usually <laughs> asks that question, about what, what would you rather do in terms of have your own fragrance house or... Work with a fragrance house. Or, yeah, I'm not you... 
would you like rather have your own house or would you rather create your own fragrance with your favorite perfumer for example uh well i think i think i would prefer to do it by myself only because um i i, I work for a fragrance house already and i know that is uh, sometimes you know I, I've got a bus, so I need to work for that bus. And now I feel I want to do my own thing. And even working with someone will be cool, but it will be not my baby like yeah. mine. So I, I want to do my thing, do it my yeah. way. And, uh, so yeah, definitely. I, and I'm 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 a bit uh, difficult with buses in general. I <laughs> I, I need to work by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, Otherwise, I can be a bit uh, annoying. <laughs> I'm sure you can't. No. No. <laughs> so it brings me on to the question: um, How? Because French people, especially the guys, we as English people think they're quite romantic, quite. Um, Gentlemanly. So, how do the English guys over here compare oh, to question. the hopeless <laughs> romantic of French guys? Answer this very, very carefully. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I'm very scared of what I'm going to say. Okay, let me let me take a look and see. It. <laughs> so, so it's, I mean, to what I experience, I've seen that. Um, men in France are, are really direct, like for example, we express our emotion just like this is this, this is how you need to take it, and this is that, you know, done. And they're not scared, they have a lot of character, and usually they will tell you straight away, voila. With British, that's what I, I found myself, is that um, they were a bit on the reserve and not really expressing all the time their emotion. It was more difficult to say, what do you think, you know? Yeah. And, um, but I saw like they were quite gentlemen as well to me, uh, but more, I, I felt something a bit like, yeah, more reserved to me. But I don't know, I, you know, I make a generality with, with what I've seen. But I know that um, I'm telling you that. But I remember having a date with with a, with a guy. I shouldn't tell that here, but anyway, uh, I had a <laughs> I had a, I had a date with a guy, and I remember he told me like, "You're very straightforward. Why do you have to say everything?" And I was like, "Well, do you prefer me to to hide the truth? Like, I mean, I'm just saying it. If I if I think yeah. something, I think it's good to be open and honest. I think it it's confusing for people." when you don't say what's on your mind. That's it. So after that, that's what I thought. It doesn't mean, Tony, it doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> oh, no, I'll tell, well, I'll tell you a little story, come on. Because uh, we work together as well. So um, I remember one time you were with Tony and I was Tony was the only person that didn't actually talk to me. Like, didn't oh. say a word. And I thought, oh, he's a bit arrogant. Like, why is he not talking to me? <laughs> so, it turned out that actually, it does back up what you're saying because I had to ask Tony out on a date. Did you? I did, yeah. He didn't even ask me. So, I had to oh. talk about on a date. We went on a date. And yeah, ten years later we're married. Oh my god, that is so sweet. you're lucky, you know, Tony, yeah? I oh, know I didn't have the graft at all. No <laughs> yeah. graft for me. Very uh, lucky because there's not a lot of lady that would do that. Huh? So No, she was very brave. You know what? I didn't even know she liked me until she came out and said it. It was like oh. I, I had no clue and then all of a sudden she just randomly turns around to me and says, Do you know that I like you? I'm like no, I had no clue. So when wow. you to and then she basically came out. So when are you going to take me out? Yeah. Wow. You're no, amazing. I'm, I'm totally with you. You know, just say what's on your mind. Wow. You're an example to me. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go, Clarence. You learn a lot from Becca. If you like someone, just tell them. Just <laughs> I will. I, I will. <laughs> 
hilarious. I've got another question then. Right, and then Beck will move on to a more serious, more, a less serious question. So yeah. what would you say, from a reviewer point of view and from watching as well, what would you say is your favourite type of video, not only to make but to watch, i.e. lives or unboxings or first impressions? What um, Have you got a favourite? Uh, I mean, to watch myself, I I enjoy when there's something different, like uh, something a bit unusual. Like I like what I enjoy the most is to see the reviewer not in his comfort zone, somewhere else. I don't know, like in a different atmosphere, in a different place, or just you know, not in his comfort zone. Or you know, I really like when also the reviewer is with someone else and get opinion of different people. And you learn because you have two different opinions. And I think it's quite interesting. So I, I quite like that. Excellent. I've just listened, I just put a comment up there from Lizzie. She had to ask her husband to get married because he's chicken shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. That's Lizzie all over. I can believe that as well. Can you? Yeah. yeah. That's hilarious. He is English guy, Clemence. You said it. They just, they they don't say what's on their mind. I told you, that's what I've seen. <laughs> and I've got Why? a little experience in that, I tell you. I should <laughs> do a video on it. <laughs> Can you see Brian's comment there about the last question? Fragmental's vlog style videos have been amazing. Uh, have that's that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Things like that I really like. This is different. Uh, it is very different. Um, is there something in the fragrance community that uh, annoys you a little bit? You don't have to like really slag something off, but is there something that sort of either gets you down a bit or you don't like about the community? Uh, that gets me down? I think it's not really in the fragrance community. I've got nothing uh, bad to say against the people that actually work uh, as the same as me. But uh, I, I mean, to be honest, like uh, especially during lockdown, I got down a few times because of some bad comments. It was quite, like, I mean, it's quite occasional, but sometimes some people can be very personal and they find something to tell you that is ultra personal. And usually I can deal with it, but the fact to be alone and have to spend all day with myself and to wake up with a comment that is really personal and I really get to there, you're like, oh. <laughs> That, that is something that, for me, I can't understand in YouTube. I love the platform, but sometimes when I see people being rude in comments for no reason, I'm like, but why don't you, if, if you don't want to say something nice, why don't you just go? Or, you know, if it's constructive, it's okay. But if it's just rude, I just, it's something I, I, I've got difficulty to deal with. I'm, it's getting better and better with the time, of course. But when it comes, I'm just like, why? Like, because I won't do something like that myself, so. Yeah, there's a lot of horrible people out there, which is really sad because we should empower other people. You know, like you just said, if, if you've got nothing nice to say, why mm. are you taking the time to type it? Yeah. It's just, it's just baffling, but it's one of those things that, I think you just got to completely shut off and just delete it, move mm. on, and just pay attention to people that actually do say nice things and who have been with you. I think you're, you're totally right. For me, it's, it's a big challenge though because I'm very impulsive. I don't know if it shows, but I'm really impulsive. Like, if you attack me, I, I strike back usually. So it's quite difficult for me to tone down and be like, leave it. Tony has to tone me down all the time. <laughs> really? Sounds, yeah, it sound, sounds familiar, Clement. It sounds too familiar. Oh, you so really can't, just, just literally let that all go over your head, especially, Kat. I know you're fiery, but um, I've seen it a little bit as well, actually. I won't say where or when, but I've seen you fire this, which I think is brilliant. Not to you, but it literally, don't. Just don't let it affect you. I know that's easier said than done, but you've got to be thick-skinned. You really have. Yeah. Just switch off to it, delete, and then read ten, ten good comments because there yeah. will be. Yeah. You, no, you, 
I mean, I'm pretty tough usually with that, so it's, it's usually fine, you know. But yeah, I guess you know sometimes. I think I think I will I will take it even better when I can take holidays at some point. I will be I will feel better. I, yeah. I, I think you like you said it's, it's difficult when when you were in lockdown and you couldn't see anybody to let off steam. You couldn't talk about it with anybody. Oh, one hundred percent, I get that completely. So. There we go. Yeah, I'm fiery, so don't worry about it. <laughs> no, you're yeah, not the only fiery one. <laughs> right, I'm gonna. I've got one final question, Clements. I'm sorry if we've been bombarding you with these questions, but I know that. I asked it to Chris, and uh, it, Becca said it. She thought it was a good question, so I thought I'd ask it again. So I am a thief. I'm gonna break into your home, but I'm a nice thief because I'm gonna take all of your fragrances, but I'm only gonna leave you with three of them. Oh. You can keep three fragrances. You can start your collection again, but you've got three fragrances to keep. What are you going to keep? <gasps> oh. <laughs> Alors, first of all, uh, I will I will pick you. Like <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> yeah. Because trust me, you you won't have time. <laughs> he doesn't run very fast. I will send you a big bottle of tweed in the face and you'll be <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no suicide, I will uh, I think I, I know already what I'm gonna take. I will take uh, my grand soir from Francisco de Jean because I can't live without it. Like I can't I can it so much. I mean this amber, like very dark, very sexy, I love it. Um I will take my signature scent, which is number 22 from Chanel, like it's ultimate, vintage, elegant, like quite opulent as well. Uh, I won't leave that for sure. And, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, it's funny, I've seen all five studio like uh, with her comment and she was saying, beware of the bunnies. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, and the last one is actually my little scent of the day and that will be this one. That's free the Royal Hood. I won't leave the house without this because uh, it, it costs me a lot. <laughs> it's too expensive. <laughs> and uh, I really love it as well. So I, I will get this one. Excellent. Great choices, Clemence. Thank you. Uh, sorry to put you on the spot there. Becca's got some more fun stuff to ask you. I've just got a couple, of more, a couple more fun stuff. And then we've got... Um... Would you rather questions? Yes. And what we'll do then after that, if you've still got time, we'll just ask some, get some questions in from the public, the pu 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 public. So we'll <laughs> ask, we'll ask the people in the chat if they've got any questions for you. Are you okay for time? Are you okay for another sort of 10, 15, 20 minutes? Are you okay? I've got, the, I've got the wine. I can do the whole night with you. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so if, so you uh, obviously now live in London. Um, what would you say is your favourite English food or dish? Uh, hola. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's difficult. Uh, well, I'm going to be very stereotyped because the thing is, like, living in London, you do eat a lot of food, but not just English. There's so many things that, to um, yeah. be honest, like the blame on me, I didn't try the British food that much. So um, I can't even choose really. Uh, I would probably like get a good fish and chips from Camden and that's it. You know, classic, it works. But I, I'm not very adventurous in your cuisine. I've been like a... Uh, no, I don't. I don't know it that much. I've been scared a few times, so <laughs> it was a bit difficult. So where Tony's from? He's from. Are you north or south? South London. So he's from South London. So his signature dish, I would say, from the area that he came from, would yeah. be pie, mash, and liquor. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Though. Oh, that's so very nice. Have you had that? Have you been to a traditional pie shop? Yes, yes, and I had that, and that I forgot about that. That's amazing. That's really nice. Okay. okay. Yeah. And what about a roast dinner? Do you like a roast dinner? 
Oh, oh yeah, that's really good. That's <laughs> really, really good. Okay. But to be honest, I'm not that difficult in food, but yeah, that's that's really, really good. Okay. Yeah, you've got a point. <laughs> Important question, did you have one pie or did you have two pie? Two pie, one mash, or two pie, two mash? Or two mash, one pie. Oh. <laughs> uh, one pie, two, what? No, one pie, only one. I thought yeah. of yeah. <laughs> Gravy or liquor? Did you go for the liquor? Parsley I've sauce? got no idea. I was with someone English and I said, you pick it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. You know, it's something that I still struggle with. Like my, my English, I think is kind of alright now to understand. But my main difficulty in English is to read menus. I don't know why. I don't understand everything in menus. But uh, uh, so that's why usually if I'm with someone, I'm like, you choose, and yeah. uh, you you find me good thing. That's the best <laughs> way though. Sometimes, because sometimes you just can't decide, can you? So I'm just. I've just said liquor, and Jackie in the chat has put liquor young, but I think she's thinking of the long, the wrong liquor. So. <laughs> 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 Jackie's definitely thinking of alcohol. I know she will be. Uh, we are talking about parsley sauce, Jackie. This is an English thing for a pie masher. <laughs> they call it pie mash and liquor, and the liquor is parsley sauce. <laughs> yes. Just what I clarify. Sorry. Uh, I've only got one more question and then we'll move on to the would you rathers. But what would you say is your favourite season of the year? Uh, winter, 100%. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not really a summer person. Like, first of all, I, I don't like to be too warm because I don't know how to dress. Uh, I, I love to wear different layers, different coats, boots, things like that. And in summer, I'm just like, okay, I don't know what to wear. Uh, so it's really difficult. I'm just, I'm just struggling. It's a nightmare. And then if I'm moving too much, I'm hot. I, 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 so the, the, I like the cold. And uh, I actually like, I uh, wanted to live to Russia, in Russia. I love being cold. <laughs> That is very cold in Russia. Right. You definitely yeah, no. won't get hot and sweaty there. <laughs> <laughs> so what we'll do, we'll move on to Just going to say, Claire, Claire's oh. off. So thank you, Claire. Hi, oh, oh, Claire. Uh, we'll do our Would You Rathers. Um, so I will start with English or French, guys. Oh. Oh. Mm. Uh, well, I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's, it's really difficult, but I would say still French because, I, I mean, I had long relation with, with French guys, so I guess I have to say French because I didn't have a very long relation with British. So, uh, yeah, I will say French. Croissants or crumpets? Have you had a crumpet? Croissant. 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 Of course. Obviously. <laughs> YouTube or Instagram? Ah. Uh, I mean, uh, well, I have to say YouTube because we, we are closer to the people that follow you. We talk more. Yeah. And it got me relation with you guys, for example, you know, like uh, to get to know more people. This is very oh, true. YouTube. Chanel or Dior? Chanel. Chanel. Chocolate souffle or a chocolate cake? A chocolate cake, 100%. Oh, it's a hard one. Cheese or wine? You what? Can't pick wine. Yeah, you can't pick wine. Wine. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wine, the wine, of course, the wine. Okay, yeah, yeah, because you could technically eat other stuff as well. Just to, just yeah. to build that point of the cheese. I mean, like for me, like, you know, like having wine, I don't have wine every day, obviously. I'm not like that. But I really enjoy to go home when I had a long day like today. Go home, have a glass of wine, a nice dinner. Perfect. So, no. Jeans or leggings? Did you say leggings? Yeah, jeans or leggings. Leggings are forbidden. So that's the <laughs> Leggings are not trousers. 
Red lippy or a good nude lippy? Uh, I would say I would say red because uh, when I don't know what to wear, I just wear red and it's okay. So I would say a good red. Seventeenth century or the twenty-first century? Seventeenth. Definitely. Pearls or diamonds? Uh, pearls. Hundred percent. I love pearls. Yeah. Fragrance or makeup? Fragrance. Good answer. <laughs> I know the answer to this one. Dogs or cats? <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, which is the most important one, predicted or predicted snaps? <laughs> uh, can I can I quit? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have to choose, really. Yeah. You guys are awful. <laughs> I'm currently um, in the lead. Just have to say that I'm currently in the lead. She's about five mil up because they're all scared of her claims. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, Tony, I'm going to say, you know, I love you, but I'm going to go to this lady because she's very brave and I love her. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But, you know, it's because it's all, it's, I think also that it's my feminist vibe. I'm just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my question. Excellent. Thank yeah. you, Clement. So what we'll do now, we're going to go to some questions from the chat, uh, yeah. if you're okay with that. And mm -hmm. if anyone's got any questions, get them in now. I know there's been a lot of chat going on, and I'm sorry if we've missed some questions. I can't apologise enough. It's very difficult to get to the questions and talk. So let's get some questions up in the chat now. Have, while we wait for those questions to pop in, Clements, have you got any questions for us? Uh, well, I mean, I'm amazed to hold the, the question you already asked as well. I mean, so much work. I mean, uh, I wanted to ask you a question as well uh, to you. Because you asked me that question, I'm curious. What's your plan for the future? Mm, that's a good question. You know what? I'm really pleased you asked that because I, I haven't been really asked it. And I was speaking to a friend in the chat about this. Your, your end game changes. Do you agree with that? So your first sort of aim is to get to, a, can I get to 100 subscribers? Do you remember those days? Um, yes. You don't know anybody and you're grafting to get to 100 then all of a sudden <laughs> you start to get to know some more people and you maybe get to 500 and then the big aim is yeah the big aim is to get to a thousand that's the first big big one because you can monetize things things move on from a thousand you start to get noticed a little bit more you get more friends in the community um by then you know a few people and i you know, one thing I didn't expect from this is that I thought it was all going to be about fragrance, and it's become less about that and more about the people. Yeah, I think the same as well. It's yeah, I've made we're making some lovely friends, we really mm -hmm. are, and it's mm -hmm. become a lot more about that. But lockdown changed my whole sort of aim on the channel, really. It, it, it made us concentrate on it a lot more, like you did. And Becca got involved and set up her page, and she's grown her Instagram page very quickly. I've seen them. And <laughs> we have now got separate aims. We would love to get to a point where the channel overtakes what I do for a living. Whether that yeah. will ever happen or not, you've got to have aims in life. I'm never going to say it's going to get there, but... I've always got that little mindset that even if it was in five or ten years' time, could I make that happen? And oh, who knows? Gonna, I can who knows? tell you, with a team like yours, it's going to happen before five or ten years, definitely. Oh, so thank I'm you. Worry, definitely. So I'd love <laughs> Becca to go into her own business with her photography, and I'd like to be linked in some way with with this really so we'll see yeah. what happens in the future yeah good oh, and by the way uh, your photography uh, are amazing like the shot you take 
Amazing. Oh, thank you. I, I try. I try. <laughs> you, you're doing well. <laughs> thank you. She's not going to walk out of here now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we have some uh, cheese and drinks together. and, and you, you, Oh, I love drink. cheese. Yes. Oh. So <laughs> if we ever meet, we must go somewhere where we can get cheese and wine. Yes, That's what we're going to have to do. Oh. Oh, you know, I, I, you, you, I can just take them with me. I take the wine and I take the cheese and I'm coming. <laughs> we could just meet in Hyde Park and have a picnic. There we go. Cheese and wine in Hyde Park in London. How about that? I Thank would you. love it. I would love I would it. Love Excellent. Right. We, should, we should make this happen. We will make this happen. Please. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've got some, we have got some questions. So uh, this was my friend that I was talking about. He's joined our live for the first time. So Brent from Brent's Boxing in Peterborough, a friend of mine, has asked you, have you got a favourite boxer? That's a strange, a not a strange question. It's not strange for us, but have you, do you ever watch boxing? Have you watched it before? No, but I want to actually join the club, but I don't know any boxer. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's actually nice. my next goal. Um, I'm going to cancel my, my, gym, uh, my gym class and uh, start to do boxing because uh, I'm too anxious, so I need to get that out. But unfortunately, I don't know any boxer. Yes. I'll tell you something it's good for because um, I used to train, like boxing training with Tony, and it is good for getting that sort of... For the mental side of things. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And the anger and the frustration a little bit. Yeah, just, just go and put it back. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's why I want to do that because I'm, I'm someone very ultra anxious, so <laughs> I need that. If, if you're quite anxious, then I would recommend you get a PT session with a boxing trainer rather than go to a class first of all. Okay. Uh, because they will do a one-on-one, -on -one, make you feel comfortable, and you'll start to learn things. Okay. And then eventually, the classes are excellent because yeah. they are, and you meet new people. But it is a sport that I could recommend. You don't ever have to fight, but the training for I want, to fight. I want to fight. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, have we got any other more questions? Right, <laughs> Lizzie's put one there. Toad in the hole or frog's legs? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's a, what is toad in the hole? So, it's, do you know what you're putting on a roasting now? Yeah. So it's a big Yorkshire pudding with sausages laid in the Yorkshire pudding. Uh, I will get that because I don't know who said that French people are eating frog's legs, but that is not true. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, when we went to France, Thomas, we didn't see it on the menu. No. We did no, not see it. it doesn't happen. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> eats eating frog's legs. <laughs> yeah, we haven't talked in months. We actually went to France for our honeymoon. We did. We Yes. Oh. We went to the, um, well, we probably pronounce it wrong, so please forgive us. But we went to uh, the Wild Valley. So, oh. lots of wild. yeah, that's we really went to, We went to a lovely little, little town called Mont Rochelle. Um, Mont Saint Michel, Mont Rochelle. Mont, Mont Rochelle, yeah. So, near oh. uh, about okay. half, an hour, half an hour from Tours, east of Tours. Oh, I think I've never been. It's a lovely well, place. That's nice. Did you like it? We loved it. Loved it. We yeah. loved it. We oh. definitely go back 100%. Yeah. And we've got a lot of friends that have moved or they go on holiday to like the Dodoyan area as well. So yeah. we've got to go at some point. Yeah, we went there. Yeah, we've got to tell them what's them. Yeah, there we go. Went there on a honeymoon. Okay. Had loads of wine. The whole honeymoon was all about drinking wine and eating. Yeah, but if you go to France, uh, our whole life is based on drinking wine. So, <laughs> so we drank you know, a lot of wine. What, we, what went, we went to visit all the vineyards. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. An amazing experience because the, we stayed in someone's um, converted barn mm. and they offered to take us around her local vineyards yes. to people that she knew. Mm -hmm private sellers as well and we had an amazing day oh. we got we got hammered excellent did you can you see the question on the screen moulin rouge or les miserables this one 
Definitely Moulin Rouge. Hein. There's no question. I love the vibe of definitely. No, 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 no. Les, les Misérables, it's too sad. Why yeah. this? It's true. It's a very sad movie. Yeah. Mm. At least oh. Moulin Rouge, you know, you get a bit of that vibe. Yeah, definitely. We've got um, my cousin in the chat. We have my cousin Kevin. My cousin Kevin is my best friend and he supports my channel, which is lovely. Um, oh. so he's just joined the live. Hello, Kevin. Thank, thanks Hi, for joining. Kevin. Kevin's been on my channel actually. He's a uh, some sort of he's he's good for my channel because when I get him on, he knows nothing about fragrance really. So it's really nice to <laughs> ask him what he likes as a non fragrance. <laughs> it helps ground me. So that's good. <laughs> right. We've got a question. I think I know the answer to this already. Red or white wine from Nigel at two cents worth? Yeah. Good question, Nigel. Uh, it, it depends. Uh, to be honest, I love blue, but uh, if I have to choose, I will take the, the red. Um, <laughs> because it goes really nice with the good taste and really nice with the cheese. So the white is only when it's very hot outside or yeah. when I'm eating fish, then I will take a white wine. But I prefer the red. I've got one. Okay. Champagne or prosecco? Oh, no, champagne. I don't, I don't really like either. I'm not. I'm not a big fan. I have to hold my hands up and say I'm not a big fan of champagne or prosecco. Well, but I. Sorry, yeah, carry on. No, no, carry on. Prosecco has gone like quite big over here, hasn't it? Yeah, it's mm. huge. Isn't it? Yeah, I just, yeah. I just, no, I'm, I'm just not feeling that vibe. No. Oh, there's olfactory stories. She's French and so she says champagne. You know the tea. Uh, but the, <laughs> the thing is, like, um, I'm a bit like you, though. I'm, I'm not drinking a lot of bubbles anyway because with one cup, I'm, like, dead. I'm starting to laugh very loud and be really annoying. So, <laughs> and I'm already talking very loud and annoying usually and you can hear me from far away so can you imagine with just one glass of bubble it's terrible so you can hear it and you do you know like uh, Chris can, can tell you like I think uh, the first time I've seen him I, I had a glass of that and he was like oh my god so uh, <laughs> no no um, but I prefer champagne though champagne is a more thin bubbles it's a bit more delicate yes we learned about champagne on our honeymoon didn't we we did. We learned about yeah. We learned about how they make it. Um, yes, we still got nice. it in the garage. Yeah, because it wasn't from the Champagne region. We can't call it Champagne. No. Ah, but yes. They use the traditional techniques and the bottle we got. We it's more of a. Um, it holds a lot of sentimental value to us now, so we're very reluctant to open it, which seems a real shame because it was lovely. Uh, but oh. Never mind. We'll, well, we'll we've had it for one. seven years now, and we still not opened it. It's probably gone off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's probably not even worth drinking anymore. No. <laughs> so, if you're into your football, there we've got. Uh, did, can you see the question on the screen? Henry or Zidane? Is that Thierry well, or Zidane? Uh, my my dad is a is a football trainer in France. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, He's got, my dad's got a, a bakery, but as in spare time and everything, he's a football trainer since years and years now. So I have to honor him and say he's done. <laughs> because exactly. come on, like, <laughs> 1998, we won. That, yes, you did. That great World Cup, got a great team as well. Amazing team in 1998. Yeah. I have to say You've got an amazing team now. You, got them, you, could, you could win the World Cup in, what is it, two years' time? You could win that quite easily again. So um, we've got two cents worth of said Indian or Chinese food. Oh, Chinese. Chinese. I, I love, I love, I love Indian true. food as well, but sometimes it can be a bit too spicy. Chinese, I'm, I'm great with Chinese food. I love it so much. We love Chinese too. We do. Tea or coffee? Tea or coffee? Uh, oh, 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 difficult. Um, I'm trying to stop coffee because I was drinking too much coffee and. Uh, so now I'm trying to drink like matcha tea, uh, jasmine yeah. tea, but uh, I usually find it a bit like boring if, I, if I'm at work and need a good coffee to have mm. some strength for the day. But uh, yeah, it's a difficult question. I don't know. <laughs> but I would say yeah. tea, maybe. Okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and you spent a little while at home, so Netflix or Amazon Prime? Ooh. 
uh, well, uh, I'll have to say Amazon Prime because I order all my life on Amazon Prime. So, uh, <laughs> but for the uh, watching, more Netflix. But yeah. <laughs> we've got um, Brian's asked. Have you got any favorite French movies? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's uh, there's one that is called. Uh, uh, have you seen Priceless? No, no, I, no, I haven't. No, no. It's in in English, uh, and uh, it's with a, a famous uh, a famous humorist. I love this movie. It's a romantic comedy, but I love it. So yeah, would say priceless. Priceless. We have to watch that one. We do. We we'll put it on yeah. the list. I'm going to write it down. Write it down. Write it down. We'll report back. <laughs> okay. Um, Nigel, you naughty boy. <gasps> oh, Nigel. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, <Saucy. laughs> it's not even what well, oh is it past watershed now it might be past what well, oh no it's nine o'clock yeah. can't ask that question don't have to answer that one no well no. I, I could only say nigel usually sex come with fragrance so yeah yeah you, you can't yeah you can't do anything with someone that smells <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, don't go. <laughs> so, just a couple. Have we got any more? Or? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Clemence, for coming on. You have been a dream. Oh. I'm in the girl power and I love it. Well, thank you for inviting me. It was really nice. I had a really nice time. And especially, you know, after work, I was a bit tired and you, you gave me all excited. So I'm really happy. <laughs> no, we, we've really appreciated you coming on. It's been wonderful. And, you know, if you ever do have those little low moments, just just slide into the DMs. Just have a little chat. Oh, we can just, like, go power it out. We could do this. That is so sweet. I really appreciate it. And, uh, and again, like I want to say how amazing you're doing YouTube. Like your channel is great. And uh, good luck for the new Instagram as well. So, I mean, it's, it's really nice, really. And it's Thank nice to see you much. together as well, as well as the team, you know. It's quite rare. So that's really nice. Thank you. And good luck with your channel as well. Not that you need it. It is, it is doing amazingly well so i uh, rather than good luck i'm going to say congratulations because it's amazing so thank you really, really lovely work <laughs> i know you're very very well liked amongst the community and we can see why with our interview of you you're lovely yes oh, oh thank you very much and when the nicer weather does come because it hasn't been cracking really has it no when the nicer weather comes we we, we will come it. down to london and we Please. will have cheese and wine In on Hyde park Tell me, tell me, I will bring you some French wine and we're going to enjoy together. Yes, Fantastic. lovely. Well, we really <laughs> hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you. Too. Oh, we'll see you, uh, see you Saturday anyway. Yes. Yes, yes definitely. we see each other Saturday. But we'll talk in the week about it. I'm going to send you some, some stuff in the week. So, yes. excellent. Yep. All right. <laughs> so have a lovely right. evening. Thank um, you. You will see Clement's Saturday. I'll be in the comments. Okay. So I will be sure to say hello. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank so, you, so, thank you, Clement. And we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Bye everyone. Take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs> hello, everybody. So, there we go. So, our mystery guest of the week. No, and you didn't let it out. I didn't give it away. You did not give it away. <laughs> How amazing is that? That is hilarious. Well, thank you again for joining us for We're, another week. And perfect timing, really. I've just got a notification on my phone that said that our driver's on his way with our takeaway. <laughs> Literally, we've been bad, but hey, whatever. We have a stressful week. So, yeah, takeaway's on its way. You yeah. lovely people. Well, we've taken up too much of your time, but we appreciate you coming in. And we all love you being here. So we will see you. Well, you'll see. I'll see some ladies, ladies on Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday. And uh, they know who they are. I'm going to be putting you all in a group chat in the next couple of days. Ooh. And we'll talk further about what the plans are. Yeah. But thank you so much to everybody for joining us and the lovely comments. As you, I think you'll all agree, what a lovely guest. 
and uh, really down to earth, which we love. Next week, we are going to be later. I'm off for the weekend. It's a late one. Yes. It's late. I'm not going to give anything away. Of Just who stop it is. No, I'm going to say a time. <laughs> We're going to be live around 8.30 next Sunday night, so a much later one. So I apologise for the people that might affect, but we're going to be on at 8.30, mystery guest at 9pm. We also don't miss my live on Saturday night with the lovely ladies who know they are at 8. We're going to be going about 9pm on that. So two late lives next week. Two late ones. Saturday and Sunday. So John, take some caffeine. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much. And we will see you later Bye, in the week. Um, yeah, bye everybody. Thank you very, very much. Take care of yourself. We'll see you again bye. soon. Bye 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 bye.